Okay, so I'm going to show you some footage I found on the internet, on Twitter. This one's from a, a, a real account of the food shortages seen across the UK supermarkets. So let's give this one a play. And we can see just rows and rows of empty crates. Um, there is some food there. Not encouraging. Uh, we've got a lot of footage. Um, I can show you just, just copious amounts of footage of this empty shelves. And you know what? It's not just the footage, right? There was there's a poll that was just done by YouGov. 61% of UK respondents said they have personally noticed or experienced food shortages in their local shop or supermarket in the past few weeks. 60%, 61%, right? So this is very broad in scale across the whole country. You could quite confidently say that, um, you know, if they do the sampling white. So uh, this is a wide scale problem. And the question is, how can a country that's ranked number five or six in terms of wealth be running out of food and uh, the, the food that's important that you could argue fruit and veg. Um, that's, that's a crazy, uh, crazy predicament. And, and, and not just that, they're doing rationing too. The UK is doing rationing, right? Free items per person. This is like COVID times. And we are more than a year since, you know, uh, you, we were locked in our homes for COVID. How can this be? Um, and what's worse, uh, this could actually continue, right? Uh, apples and pears could be a next UK food shortage, farmers warn. Yeah, so uh, this is this is actually more emblematic of a bigger issue. Now, we've seen the lockdowns. We've seen the problems of COVID. We've also seen energy prices and just difficulty in growing. And yeah, I'm sure there's weather patterns have, have, have been an issue. But I believe that this could be a sign of worse to come or things to come, not just for the UK, but for potentially other countries too. So this is something I'm really paying attention to and how the world economy is running. But here's something uh, we need to pay attention to. Growers say they cannot get enough by supermarkets. Um, that's enough. They don't get paid enough, sorry, uh, by supermarkets. And this is partly the reason why uh, the UK specifically has has issues because their policies, or at least their supermarkets, have a have a a market position where they they don't need to pay uh, growers farmers sufficiently uh, to cover their costs and hence that's why there's a food shortage and this is what happens when there's price controls um yes so anyway fruit growers costs had increased about 23 percent uh this is you know this is with picking energy haulage packaging everything right but was being met by less than 1% increase in returns. That is what less than 1% increase in, in, in price uh, in what the supermarket gave them. So they ate up the increased costs. Um, the majority of growers are losing money. Some are planning to quit the industry and others have effectively mothballed their orchids and are grubbing them up as the re returns dwindle. This is a very situ uh, serious situation, said Kappa. The future of apple and pear growing in the UK is seriously in doubt. The shortages have been triggered by cold weather in Spain and North Africa, hitting crops there and by big cutbacks in British and Dutch growers. I'll, I'll go into a little bit of more detail about what's going on with these British and Dutch growers, and the Dutch are amazing at growing. Uh, they are agricultural powerhouse, but right now, um, even they have not solved this issue, they're, they're running into trouble. Um, yes, they, they plant salads uh, under glass, at this time of year, as growers say, supermarkets were not prepared to cover the increased cost of heating. Now, what they mean by growing under glass, they mean growing in greenhouses, uh, which keep the, 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 the plants within it warmer, right? So they don't freeze to death. And um, 
you know, this is this sort of contravenes the idea that climate change or uh, global warming is, is not good. Um, I have heard arguments that global warming is good because it's easier to grow food across the world. Uh, a lot of the food is grown in in hotter temperatures. But anyway, uh, I'm, I don't want to get, you know, supposedly t- political or anything like that, but that's something i got to relay to you. Um, now, I, I want to go into a little bit more detail about the idea of the greenhouses and what's going on with the energy costs, right? So, uh, you know, a lot some crops, such as the, the warm, that require warmer weather to, to grow, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, brinjals, they grow in greenhouses, right? Now, this leads us to, I have another video made on why uh, inflation can just be uh, impacted almost completely, perhaps, by Russia. I'll put a link uh, up there. Uh, Please feel free to watch it. It's a really good analysis. And I go into why China and Russia have their thumbs on uh, on the levers and they can make sure we have inflation. And it's something that you got to see to to contextualize this. Anyway, the increase in uh, energy costs were partly due to the Ukraine war and the reduction of the European dependence on Russian fuel. That means they've cut off Russian fuel. And uh, also the Ukraine war, which gives a premium, which forces a premium of energy. Now, additionally, the country also imports uh, vegetables and fruits from uh, hotter places in Europe and North Africa. Um, Yeah, so what happened was the weather event, it was a bit colder than usual in Spain, and which contributed to 10.4% lower yield of fruit and veg from Spain. Right, so that was the main reason. Uh, accordingly so uh, that's that's quite interesting but what was uh, another factor is that uh, the rest of Europe doesn't seem to really have these problems so I can only assume that you, you might be able to point the finger at Brexit but the other thing I mentioned about how some of the farmers it's just not economical for the local farmers to to farm certain things anymore I think that's particularly important as well as not economical for greenhouses in Netherlands as well as the UK to function because the margins are just squeezed because of increased energy costs perhaps as a direct result of Putin or simply the the war in the Ukraine so that's that that's that's a, a, a driving factor, a driving factor for why uh, food prices are going up. And indeed, I can I can show you an article about how much food has increased in the last couple of years. Rising milk, egg, and margarine prices have contributed to grocery prices in the four weeks to 19th of February, um, rising 17.1 percent from a year ago. So, since the beginning of this level of food shortage over the last year. Food prices have risen 17.1%. That is immense. I don't remember my salary going up 17%, right? I don't think most people get their salaries increased by 17%. And what's really funny is that that's not the biggest problem in the UK and I'm I'm sure across the world. Grocery price inflation was the second most important financial issue for the public behind energy costs. So just consider how much the UK as well as populations across Europe and across the world are being squeezed right now, right? We have record high inflation and that's that's in a lot of it, primarily in energy and food inflation. So this is making the average person uh, much harder to get by and uh, I don't see how we, we won't be heading to recession, but anyway, uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But I truly believe that the energy price situation is is going to cause so much pain is the driving factor behind this and some people are saying it's brexit and i can show you people uh, demonstrating and taking photos of um their european uh this one's in dublin ireland no shortages there they're rubbing it in right the 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 pro remain people for the eu are rubbing in this is uh where is this one uh netherlands I've seen so many of these, <laughs> I get confused. But there's none here, which is in France, 
right? They're making fun of them. So it might be a Brexit thing. Who knows? Um, you know, let me know what you think. But I truly believe uh, this the the main driving cause is is energy, right? The cost of energy. The cost of energy is going to cause food shortages because supermarkets don't want to meet those costs and raise the prices. Food uh, energy prices are causing food inflation and inflation all across the board in, in, in the economy. And I can only imagine one scenario for the general public, in that which probably includes myself, is not necessarily shortages, but just as low as standard of living. And maybe this is just the future we're heading into. But on top of that, to rub uh, to, to put insult to injury, what happens when there's high inflation, right? What do central banks do to combat high inflation? High interest rates. So your cost of living is going to go up there too. And there's no real fix. And if you sort of analyze where does it all stem from? Well, my fear is that probably energy prices is the main one. Anyway, that's sort of my theory. But I'm just observing this as sort of a, uh, a distant outsider but i've seen this not this this is i've seen obviously tomatoes and, and and lettuce before but i've seen this in the shelves myself right i don't want to see it again but this is the sort of stuff that gives me nightmares i don't wish this type of thing for anyone or any society right and i don't really understand you know we tend to think right now we've got there's a story that disinflation may be happening in in society and we can see it in the charts. We can show you. I can show you the. Um, this is the price of natural gas. It's dropping like crazy. In these pics, this is when uh, they announced the war. They, they invaded uh, Ukraine and rocketed up and had a second second attempt up to new highs into the September in 2022. Now from there, it's dropped so much from the heights. It's it's now two fifty from ten dollars, seventy five percent drop in natural gas. Surely the cost of energies would will be dropping dramatically, but perhaps that's only natural gas for anyone that can buy it, right? Not necessarily natural gas that you Europe, uh, Europe can access, right? Because they, they can have any access natural gas from the United States, which will probably be at a premium because they can't get it from Russia anymore, you know. So that is why. They're seeing food inflation. That is why uh, inflation may be uh, coming over to wherever we are, right? If this war in Ukraine doesn't cease and Putin works out more strings to pull, you know, we may be seeing a lower standard quality of life, high inflation and high interest rates ad infinitum. For as long as I can see, that's my biggest concern. Let me know what you think. All right, and just to quickly mention, oil that hasn't really particularly dropped, but also know that Putin has a lot of influence with OPEC, and has been the driving force in the recent cuts of supply. So this guy has the ability to make life, economically speaking, very difficult. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give a like to support the channel it really helps the video be shared secondly subscribe if you haven't uh really helps grow the channel and uh yeah if you liked it share it too i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching guys bye